Hi, my name is Matt Zemkowitz. I'm the president of the National Air Disaster Alliance Foundation. And on this day, April 28th, 2022, I'd like to welcome you all to the National Press Club in Washington, D.C. Uh, for an important program about international flight safety. You know, 30 years ago, uh, family members, crash family members, aviation disaster family members, and those affected by plane crashes uh, in the United States came together in Washington, D.C. to really form the basis for the National Air Disaster Foundation. It's, uh, and, uh, National Air Disaster Foundation has proved to be an effective conscience and a voice in the room uh, to really institute change and promote our core, uh, core values of aviation safety, security, survivability, and provide support for victims involved and whose lives have been forever affected by, by aviation tragedies. In 1985, President Bill Clinton signed an executive order with, with uh, Vice President Al Gore helping our founding organization pass the Federal Aviation Disaster Family Assistance Act which proved to be um, uh, a spearhead for the way we, we handle crashes and handle victims and families today and investigate accidents in the United States. Currently, the National Air Disaster Alliance is highly recognized in Washington, D.C. and serves on many uh, aviation committees, such as the Aviation Security Advisory Committee, such as the uh, FAA um, Aviation um, Advisory Committees, Aviation Rulemaking Committees, and other groups uh, throughout the industry to really institute and go back to our core values of providing in, you know, improved safety, security, and survivability for crashes. So family members inherently become experts in their crashes. Family members are always family members, despite the political climate, despite the change in government, despite the change in the world as people's lives go on. And you get to know your crash. You get to know what happened. And today we're going to hear about three special crashes uh, that affect us today. KAL 007, Malaysia Air 17, and the crash of Smoltz, Poland. Family members have proven to be an effective voice of reason and conscience in the room in promoting short-term, long-range solutions with government, industry, and the private sector for the highest levels of aviation safety and security so that others are not harmed. And that's why we're here today. Thank you.